This month, I wanted to try something new and I wanted to do a monthly reset routine to help me declutter my studio and to get a fresh start for the new month. I don't enjoy cleaning at all, but I enjoy having a clean space. So I need a routine where I set aside time to properly declutter and put things away so it doesn't get out of hand. The first thing on my list is to vacuum up all of the dust that has built up behind my computer before I wipe it down. Then I want to vacuum the carpet, so first I need to clear the floor and put things back actually where they're meant to be. I'm the sort of person that very easily adjusts to the mess around me and just don't see it anymore and I don't have a good habit of putting things back after I'm done with them so having a monthly reset routine just makes sure that I'm not letting things build up. I'm wiping the table down with a homemade vinegar cleaner diluted with some distilled water but because my table is wood I'm looking into maybe adding some olive oil next time to help polish it. I wrote down the tasks that I wanted to complete each month on a scrap piece of paper but I've also made a simple free printable for you to download if you like and I'll show you at the end of the video. It is really annoying when I'm in the middle of doing work and my mouse is about to run out of battery because I can't use it while it's charging, thanks to the worst design ever. But the good news is it lasts about a month once it's fully charged. So I'm going to charge both my keyboard and mouse while I do the rest of the things on my list. The one thing that I have to do at the start of every month is plan out the content schedule for my Patreon. This helps me see what my weeks look like, stay on top of deadlines, and make sure that I'm giving myself enough time to start bigger tasks like workshops and stickers. And of course, I have to add some pretty stickers to decorate the month because it makes me happy. on my list is to plan out my August budget but since I was too excited I've already mostly finished this a few days ago before filming I just write it out in my notebook because I have a lot of old notebooks to use up but I also keep track of everything digitally in my notion google sheets and my every budget app because I'm obsessed I'm pretty new to budgeting as my patrons know so I'll probably calm down after a few months <laughs> 
So I like to use the highlighter method to categorize my expenses, which makes it easier to calculate totals at the end of each week and month, as well as just visually see where I'm spending most of my money. So another area of my business where I feel I could use some improvement and changes is how often I restock. This is how I've always done it, manually counted the amount of stickers that I had for each product and writing it down, but I will switch over soon to the built-in inventory tracker on my website because that will send me alerts whenever stock drops below a certain amount. I really should have done this from the beginning, but I was just too lazy to switch over to that. sure I'm not alone when I say that my downloads folder and desktop get so easily cluttered. I want to declutter my digital space as well as my physical so I'm putting files where they're meant to be and deleting files I don't need anymore so that they don't take up so much space on my computer. This is one area that I know if I don't take care of consistently it'll just get so out of hand and I won't be able to find the files that I need especially when it comes to running a business so I'm really glad I'm setting aside time for this each month. I want to do this a little bit differently next month by doing a monthly reflection and review also but I'm setting up my August habit trackers which is new for me I've never done that before but I'm also going to write out my monthly goals.
The last step in my monthly reset routine is to respray my cameo mats, which I did the next morning. Instead of needing to buy a new mat whenever it's no longer sticky, I've been using a spray adhesive. I've only used it about four times so far, and while it's not a perfect solution because it can leave some residue for the first few uses, I think it's still a lot more sustainable and affordable than just continuing to buy new mats every time. Also, I thought if I opened the windows, I could spray them inside but the smell is so strong that I'll definitely do it back outside next time. I've put a link in the description box where you can download this free printable if you want to do a monthly reset with me, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in September for the next monthly reset. Bye!